Do your genes determine your health? I think this is the real icebreaker for this week. Um, and of course the answer is no, but we don't come out and just say no, right? I can tell you that this is not what most people think. All right, remember, we were all taught that our DNA is the blueprint of your cell. It's the blueprint of your entire life, right? Uh, you know, without DNA that we wouldn't exist, right? Without DNA, none of us would have evolved from primordial ooze, right? Um, the rest though, the idea that DNA determines our health is really the deduced conclusion, right? That's based on, <clears throat> uh, it's the conclusion that's drawn, right, when the news says that, you know, scientists discovered a breast cancer gene uh, or a high blood pressure gene or a heart disease gene, right? Uh, because as soon as something is written in your DNA, now you're completely helpless, right? You were born with it. There's no way you can change it, right? <clears throat> and this, this is the result of our reductionist way of looking at our world right? It's the notion that we are simply the sum of our parts. It's the complete opposite of vitalism. It's complete, completely the opposite of the philosophy that chiropractors hold, right? So rather than simply saying, I'm helpless, the question we should really be asking is, okay, if DNA is the blueprint of our cell, then what controls our DNA, right? What's the answer to that? The answer is our environment, all right? That's what we're gonna pick up on tomorrow, but for now, let's start having some talks about what actually creates our health.